Let's write the structural formula for 2-hexene. If we wrote the actual molecular formula, that would be C6H12. But that doesn't give us quite enough information about how the atoms are bonded together. For that, we need the structural formula of 2-hexene. So when you see ENE on the end, you know that you have an alkene. Alkenes end in ENE. And we have a double bond between two carbons. So we're going to have a double bond in the hex right here. That means six. So we'll have six carbons in a chain with a double bond. And that double bond is going to be on the second carbon. So let's write a chain of six carbons here. So we have six carbons. And they all have single bonds right now. So that would make this an alkane. In fact, this would be hexane. Let's number each carbon. So we have our six carbons. We know there's a double bond. It's on the second carbon. That means it's right here between the second and third carbon. Carbon can only bond to four things. Right now we have the bonds between carbons. And each one of these lines, that's bonded to a hydrogen. So let's get rid of this right here and right here. Now each carbon is bonded to four things. And this is the structure for two hexene. Six carbons, double bond on the second carbon. When we have a double bond on interior carbons here, we need to think about geometric isomers, in particular cis and trans isomers. So let's take a look at a cis isomer for 2-hexane and then the trans isomer for 2-hexane. So here we have the gray. Those are the carbons. And then the whites are the hydrogens. We have carbon 1, 2, and there's our double bond. You can see that everything here is on one side of the double bond. This double bond is rigid, so it's not going to bend. So we'll have two hydrogen atoms down here. On the top, we have a carbon and then this three carbon chain. This is called the cis isomer because things are all on the same side. For the trans isomer, they're on opposite sides. So the hydrogens here are on opposite side. And these carbons, this carbon here and this chain of three, they're on opposite sides. So this is called the trans geometric isomer. They have the same chemical formula and they're similar but there will be slight differences in their chemical and physical properties because they are isomers. They have this different conformation. So to recap, this is the structural formula of two hexene, six carbons, and on the second carbon is our double bond. But you could go a little further and look at the cis two hexane and then the trans two hexane isomers. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.